Welcome in to Sandy Springs, Georgia. Hoskins Stadium on the campus of Riverwood International Charter School. Soccer down here. Boys high school game of the week. The Lakeside Vikings at 3-4-3 and three travel around 285 to face the Riverwood Raiders. 7-1, and one, ranked number 4 in 6A in 2023. My name's Jason Longshore. Thanks for hanging out with us on the SDH Game of the Week presented by Kaiser Permanente. Thank you to Kaiser Permanente for helping us cover soccer at all levels all over the state of Georgia. Riverwood comes into this on a seven-game winning streak. They lost the season opener to the defending 6A state champions, Lassiter. Last three games, Riverwood 2-1 win at Campbell, 3-0 win at home against Pope, a 2-1 win at St. Pius in the region opener. Lakeside at 3-4-3. and three. They eight, do eight, have three eight, straight eight, without eight. a loss. It was a 1-1 draw against Pace Academy on the 21st, a 4-2 win over Shambly, and a 2-1 win at home against Burkmark. Lakeside in the all-white, moving from right to left on your radio dial. Let's kick it for 40 minutes. Riverwood in the blue tops, white shorts, red socks, moving from left to right. Thanks for hanging out with us on the Soccer Down Here app or SoccerDownHere.net. Riverwood wins possession in the middle third. Trying to find the option down the right side. Lakeside wins it back, and they try to play through the middle third. Big switch out to the left, knocked out for a throw. Raiders will take it. Throw in down the line. This drop back to the back line. Riverwood will take another throw in the middle third. Vikings with a header back into that middle third. Raiders try to switch to the right side. Headed forward. Still there in the 18 for Riverwood. They earn a corner. Thought Finn Marchese and the goalkeeper might come out for that one. He held his ground. That was Ricardo Moreno who created that opportunity for the Raiders. Outswinging corner upcoming for Riverwood. Connor Hart to take. Senior midfielder, crowded six-yard box to play it into. Hart to the back post. Headed away by the Vikings. Good defending there from Lakeside. Riverwood still in possession. They work it all the way to the back line, midfield. Driven ball forward by Dylan Hyman. One back by the Vikings. Says our Marquina tries to lay that off. Raiders play it back down the left side. They're going to get to the, to this. Vikings win it back in the duel. Play long up the right side. Vikings find a couple of connections. Laid back by Jesus Garcia. Ball over the top. Down the right side. Good ball by Zatina. 1v1 on the right flank. Tried to play inside. Raiders are able to clear. Lakeside throw about 30 yards from goal. Two and a half minutes played. Throw and taken into the 18. Headed away once again. This throw will be about 10 yards off the end line. It was Hart who got to that header for Riverwood. Throw it in, corner of the 18. Trying to turn, nowhere to go. Played back outside, tripped up. Referee does not make the call, but it will be a corner for Lakeside. Don't know if the Vikings thought they'd earned that corner. They're going to get it, though. Mauricio Garcia will take this. It's 
It's about the same difference. I thought it might have been a foul from just a little inside the corner. Outswinging corner from Mauricio Garcia. Driven to the top of the 18. Raiders were on to it. They clear. And they get onto it down the left side. Here come the Raiders. 2v3 with chasing defenders for the Vikings. Excellent recovery defense from Lakeside. They win it back, play over the top. Kelly Cooper running this one down, cuts it back to his left. Nice work on the ball by Cooper. Finds Hart in the middle of the field. Hart with the long diagonal down the left side, stretching the field side to side. The Raiders back inside. Turn to the right. Drop back to the right back. Cor curls in a cross. Pretty comfortable catch by Marchesen. And the flag was up anyway. Cross was looking for Sosa up top. His run started just a little early. Quinn Cooper put that cross in. Cooper goes up for the header. Doesn't get there. But the Raiders will run this one down in their own half. Elijah Buford calls everyone off. Second year with the Raiders for Buford, the senior. Spent a lot of time with the Atlanta United Academy. Flicked forward down the right side. Played into the middle looking for Sosa. Lakeside clears. Raiders regain possession in the middle third. Big switch across to the left for Riverwood. Not there in time, so it's going to be a throw. Riverwood throw about 10 yards off the end line. Thrown into the 18. Sosa wants to turn. Can't do it. Goal kick. Finn Marchison will take this. He's headed to Dayton in the fall. Teammates over at NASA with their U19 team with Kelly Cooper of Riverwood, who's headed to Army in the fall. That NASA U19 team, one of the highest ranked teams in the country in any of the different youth organizations. Throw for Riverwood on the far side. Trying to find their way through on the left. Can't do it. Here come the Vikings. Driving down the pitch. Swung over to the left side. Vikings curl it back. Zatina, he tries to switch it back to their right. Headed away. Throw for, for Lakeside. Dylan Pettitan got there first. Throw in up the line. Pettiton, good defensively. And it's Riverwood on the dribble, breaking lines. Up the right side to Moreno. Moreno lays it off to Cooper. Back inside. Sosa wants it down the line. Moreno cuts it over to the left. Now down the left flank. Riverwood connecting the dots into the attacking third, but the final 1v1 does not go their way. They get possession back. Try it once again, getting into the 18, splitting two defenders. Committing a foul, though, trying to win the ball back. Gail Garcia couldn't quite pull that one off. It was actually the run from Pettitan. He was the one trying to pull off that 1v2, split the two. Not quite there, so Marchesen will take the free kick. Driven up the right side. Hart heads it straight up. Raiders trying to get control in that middle third. They draw a foul. Five yards inside the attacking half on the left flank. Raiders will take the free kick. Eight minutes into the first half. No score as of yet. Long free kick. Raiders sending a number of players forward into the 18. Floated to the back side of the play. Headed down. Vikings clear. Hart gives chase, but the Raiders pop this back into the final third. 
Marchesin off his line to grab. Marchesin rolls this one out to himself. Plays it long down the right side. Couple deflections. Vikings in possession. Can't find the combination to get past that side. It'll be a throw for Riverwood. Dylan Pettitan. Possession regained. Pettitan. Looking for Sosa. Heads it down. Moreno. Up the right side from, from Quinn Cooper. Damian Sosa had not made that run yet, so Lakeside's in possession in their defensive third. They try to go long up the left side this time, looking for Jonathan Contreras. It's out for a throw. Quinn Cooper at midfield. One by Mauricio Garcia. Raiders regain possession. High press from Riverwood. They earn a throw deeper in the attacking half now. Quinn Cooper, the sophomore, will step up to take. Thrown in, does not connect, but it's still there. Hart forces the turnover for a moment, but couldn't find the handle to get a shot off. Cleared out for another throw. High press from the Raiders, causing Lakeside some problems. Thrown in, back to Cooper. Down the right side. Moreno, cleared out, corner. Opportunity here for Riverwood to try to find their big center back, Kelly Cooper. Fourth year as a varsity starter, Cooper, region player of the year last year. Huge target on the backside here, making a run across the top of the six. Cooper gets ahead to it over the bar. Such a difficult mark for any team. Kelly Cooper unable to get over that one in traffic. Players like that, sometimes you just have to try to get a body on them to throw them off as they go up, knowing you're not going to be able to out-jump them. Marchese and Long down the middle. Nobody home except for Elijah Buford. Buford with a throw out to the left to Pettiton. Pettiton beats one on the dribble. Tries to cut inside. He does. Gets some help. Played long down the left, a little too long that time, looking for Garcia. Throw Lakeside. Defensive third throw on the right side for the Vikings. Long run up from Lucas Fondu. Played forward, nobody there except for Raiders defenders. Kelly Cooper plays it out to the right to Quinn Cooper. Up the line, Moreno knocks it off of a Vikings defender. Throw Riverwood. Quinn Cooper to take. 25 yards from goal on the right. Thrown in down the line. Off the thigh of Sosa. Be a throw lakeside. Subs first. Vikings will bring on some reinforcements up top. Michael Valente into the match for the first time. Lakeside will get another throw as they get out of their defensive third. Edge of the middle third now on the left. Thrown in up the line to Zatina. Plays inside to Mauricio Garcia. Now back across, Lakeside moving from left to right, but a little backwards. Long ball over the top, won by Riverwood. Second ball over the top, Quinn Cooper's got to run it down, he does. Throw Lakeside, 30 yards from goal on the left. 27 minutes left in the first half, no score. Riverwood looking for their eighth win in a row. Cross in, over hit into the hands of Elijah Buford. Contreras tried to curl that one into the back post. 
Buford was ready for it. Garcia dispossessed. Lakeside clears. Maybe rushed it a bit up that right side. No chance for anyone to get on the end of it. Goal kick, Riverwood and Elijah Buford. Buford's an outstanding shot stopper. Hasn't been tested as of yet. Finn Marchesen has not been tested as of yet either. Goal kick played into the middle. One by the Vikings. Here comes Zatina. Squares it back inside. Battle for it. Good recovery from Riverwood, but Lakeside's back in possession. Contreras, Zatina. Not on the same page as he played it forward looking for Valente. It's into the hands of Buford. Rolls it out just outside of his 18. Buford plays it long down the middle looking for Garcia. Header won by Mauricio Garcia. Played out to the left. Peraton up the line. Gail Garcia runs it down. Cuts back inside. Gail Garcia back post headed wide. Great work on the dribble by the senior winger Gail Garcia. Found the freshman Ricardo Moreno on the back post. Moreno couldn't get his head around that to test Marchesen. Might have had the near post covered anyway. Moreno, a freshman, has scored a few times this year. Couldn't pull that one off. Quinn Cooper heads it forward. Throw Lakeside, 30 yards from their goal. Jonathan Contreras has to back up a little bit. He'll take the throw. Flick on attempt from Jose Navarrete Jimenez. It's pushed in the back, so it's a free kick for the Vikings. Still inside their own half, just inside the touchline on the left. Contreras. Long down the middle, Zatina with a touch. Zatina finds the second ball, but it's clear. All the way back to Jonathan Alvarez. Alvarez at midfield for Lakeside. Played long over the top. Buford catches. Both teams looking for that long ball, but neither one has found the end of it yet. Buford floats it into the center circle. Zatina gets a touch. Quinn Cooper gets a touch. Settled by the Raiders. Try to play over the top for Gail Garcia. Alvarez clears. Throw Raiders. Edge of the attacking third, and we'll get a sub for Riverwood before that comes into play. Moreno's going to leave the match. Switching up the front three here for the Raiders. Jared Barranca is into the match. Ball's out for a goal kick for Lakeside. And Marchesen will take the goal kick. Merck Smith able to reorganize things just a little bit during that goal kick. Called Lucas Fondu over to have a conversation. Vikings in possession in the attacking half. Played along down the right side too much. Goal kick Riverwood. You can go back on the Soccer Down Here app or check out wherever you get your Soccer Down Here podcast downloaded. This morning's show, uh, I made a guest in periods. Rare thing these days. But Jillian Sakovitz and Greg Garza also made guest appearances. Check it out on the Soccer Down Here app or wherever you get your SDH podcasts. Buford plays the goal kick into the middle third. Riverwood gets control. Looking down the right side, Sosa coming across, trying to get there. He can't. He commits a foul on Yeremi Garcia. 
Excellent defending from Yedermi Garcia. Had to hold Sosa off a couple times. Took a couple of kicks, possibly low. No ill intent there, just trying to get to the ball, but good body control from Yedermi Garcia. Mark Cheeson up the left side. Zatina goes up for it. Quinn Cooper controls it. His clearing ball is blocked up into the air. Barranca gets ahead to it. Barranca tries to get another touch to it. He does. Raiders into the attacking half now. Joseph Jimenez squares it across. Hart lays it off. Raiders knocking it around in the attacking half. It's across to the left to Pettiton. Cuts inside. Over the top looking for Sosa. He gets a touch, but he can't turn. Barranca with a shot. Easy save for Marchesen. Sosa wanted to turn. It was knocked away from him, and then Barranca was able to take a quick one. Marchesen was not caught by surprise. Kelly Cooper heads the long ball down. Raiders trying to find the handle. They don't. Mauricio Garcia. Jonathan Contreras on the left side. Up the middle, headed down. Vikings in possession, though. Edge of the attacking third. Valente squares it. It's down the right side now for the Vikings. Midway through the first half. Lakeside throw. Ten yards off the end line on the right. Thrown into the 18. Cleared away initially. Follow-up opportunity saved by Elijah Buford. Half volley from about 20 yards out. Buford gets vertical to push that wide right. Throw lakeside. Contreras. Ten yards off the end line. Throws it into the 18. Cleared out. Not all the way. Zatina. Gets across it, slices it wide of the far post. Big save from Elijah Buford. That's the play of the night so far. Both teams with one shot on goal, but both teams still looking for that first goal of the night. 19 minutes left in the first half. Valente settles it for the Vikings. Pop down the left side looking for Zatina, but Quinn Cooper got there first. Vikings now in control on the right side. Cross takes a deflection. Barranca gets a touch. He's dropped deeper. Looks like Riverwoods went to a four-man midfield now to kind of combat what the Vikings have been doing. Contreras on the left. Floats this back across. Raiders win it. Space if they can take it. They can't. The long pass is picked off. Lakeside. In the center circle, in control, Mauricio Garcia to Fondu. Fondu tries to turn. It's knocked away from him by Gail Garcia. Throw, Vikings. Fondu with the throw. It's initially picked off, knocked into the middle. Opportunity here for Jimenez. Sosa, 30 yards from goal. Tries to play it all the way across to Garcia. That's intercepted. It's brought back in quickly, though, to Sosa. Sosa, long-range shot pulled wide at the far post. Damian Sosa, the junior leading scorer for the Raiders. Doesn't test Marchese in that time. Riverwood making a substitution. Henry Resendiz, freshman into the match. Raiders not afraid to play freshmen when they're ready. Moreno started Resendiz into the match now. Resendiz with his first touch. Lakeside settles it in the center circle. They give it away. Sosa able to turn and go. Nice defending, though, from Mauricio Garcia. Vikings back in possession. They go over the top. Kelly Cooper in control of the situation. It's cleared. Valente can't turn and keep it. It's cleared once again by the Raiders. Sosa able to control. Gets some help down the right side. Jimenez who's shifted over to the right. Jimenez driving into the attacking third. 
Gail Garcia able to turn. Quick shot. Caught Marchese by surprise. No reaction from him. It takes a deflection, and it's going to be a corner. Just a really quick turn and shot. Didn't try to get much behind it. The element of surprise nearly worked. Corner for the Raiders on the far side. 16 minutes in, some change left to play in the first half. No score between the fourth-ranked Riverwood Raiders and the 3-4-3 and three Lakeside Vikings. In-swinging corner, play to the top of the six. Cooper got ahead to it. Marchesen gets a hand to it. Vikings clear. Brought back into the attacking third quickly by Riverwood. Jimenez wants to turn down the right side, just can't get through traffic. Once again, it's yet, no, this time it's Contreras who wins it. It's going to be a free kick for Lakeside. Contreras and Yedermi Garcia, both physical defenders for Lakeside. They've been able to win free kicks for the Vikings to get out of trouble. Resendiz knocks it over to the left. Gail Garcia trying to run it down. Foul in the middle third. It's going to be a free kick for Lakeside on the far side of the pitch. 15 minutes left in the first half. No score. Both keepers have been called into action now. Fondue plays it long. Zatina pops it into the 18. Nothing behind that. It's easy for Buford. That was possibly a half shot, half pass into the 18. Buford will take the save. Plays it up the right side. It's short of Sosa. Contreras wins it. Valente battling for it. Throw Vikings. Substitution first. Both teams will make subs this time around. For the Vikings, Jesus Garcia will check back in. And for the Raiders, Mike Pettiton, the sophomores, in up top. Vikings long diagonal, flicked on about 30 yards from goal, but Buford will get there first. Buford sets this one down, will carry it out a few yards. Plays it long up the right side. Jimenez tries to get his head to it. Resendiz does, but the Vikings get control. Kelly Cooper puts it into that. Swung over to the left to Gail Garcia. Knocked away from him. Raiders have reinforcements. Played up the left side. Looking for Garcia, but it's out. It's a, there's a foul first, though. That's why it was out. Raiders will take the free kick. Connor Hart to take. Plays it at the top of the six. Marchesen comes out and punches it clear. Last touch off of Riverwood. It's going to be a throw. Contreras will take it. Popped up the left side. Quinn Cooper gets there first. Lakeside tries the right side now. They get a throw out of it. 12 and a half left in the first half. More throw-ins than shots so far, but both teams have forced decent saves out of these goalkeepers. Battle on the far side, dribbling across Lakeside in control. Mauricio Garcia sidesteps one, but he can't sidestep the touchline. It's out for a throw. Thrown in up the left side. Gail Garcia able to turn. Accelerates. Cutting inside. Gets some help from Barranca. Quinn Cooper now up the right side. Back inside to Resendiz. 
Up the right side to Jimenez. Back to Quinn Cooper, 40 yards from goal. Cooper floats one in. Headed into the arms of Marchesen by Mike Pettiton. Good idea to pop that little diagonal into the 18 by Quinn Cooper. Marchesen plays it long. That's easy for Kelly Cooper to get to. Headed down, but the Vikings find the second ball. Valente, Jesus Garcia takes a deflection. Kelly Cooper is there in the corner under pressure. His clearance is blocked. Gets some follow-up help from Quinn Cooper. Mauricio Garcia for Lakeside. Regains controls. Knocked back to the back line. Now up the right side for the Vikings. Out for a throw for Riverwood. Thrown into Barranca. Knocked back to Hernandez. Now played long down the middle for Pettitan. Pettitan doesn't get there, but he does force a near turnover. Lakeside able to find their way out of it. Contreras. Long down the left. Cooper's going to shepherd this one out for a throw. Good positioning from Kelly Cooper that time, covering for Riley Cooper. For Quinn Cooper. Barranca turns, knocks it up the right side. Jimenez. Contreras bounces off of him, clears it. Throw Riverwood. Quinn Cooper. Headers off of Jared Barranca. Lakeside will get the throw this time at midfield. Contreras. Mauricio Garcia. Into the center circle. Cesar Marquina. Back to Fondu. Vikings knocking it around a little bit. They play long. One back by the Raiders, but they just can't connect the dots to get out the right side. Resendis with a loose touch. Vikings throw at midfield, up the right flank. Takes a little bit of work, but Lakeside is able to find the handle. Ball over the top, does not find a teammate. Mauricio Garcia tries to dribble through some traffic. It's out for a throw. Riverwood will take. Thrown in quickly, Gail Garcia. Played over the top to Mike Pettitan. Pettiton left-footed half volley wide of the near post. Mike Pettiton's brought a spark up top. A couple of quick shots for the sophomore. Finn Marchesen slows things down just a little bit for the Vikings. Eight and a half left in the first half. No score between Riverwood and Lakeside. Marchies and long through the middle. Resendis heads it forward to Mike Pettitan. Knocked back to Marchies and he's under some pressure. Clears into the center circle. Header won once again by Riverwood. Flicked on. Pettitan's offside. Jimenez is not. Jimenez shot blocked at the top of the 18. Great awareness from the sophomore Pettitan to give himself up and get out of the play. But Lakeside deals with the opportunity for Riverwood, and they're trying to create one of their own as they attack down the right. Into the attacking half. Down the right side. Deflected out for a throw. Edge of the attacking third. Great work by the Vikings to flip the field to their attack. Thrown into Navarrete Jimenez. His cross won by Kelly Cooper. Possession regained by the Vikings. Trying to dribble through traffic. It falls to Zatina. Contreras, his cross over the head of Valente. Raiders headed forward. Mike Pettitan can't find the handle. Mauricio Garcia does. Vikings now down the right, cutting back to the inside. Split two with the pass. Navarrete Jimenez plays it forward. Valente shot. Doesn't connect. Raiders clear. Middle third, but they just can't settle it. It's going to be a lakeside throw, five yards inside their own half. Less than seven minutes left. Riverwood will make a sub. 
Actually, Lakeside had a player down because it was a Lakeside throw. So Riverwood can't sub in that situation. But there's a player down for Lakeside. Outside. There will be a yellow card as well. Free kick about 20 yards from goal. The initial contact was outside the 18. No question about that. Fondu commits the foul. He gets the yellow and has to leave momentarily. He can come right back in, but he'll be playing the rest of the night on a yellow. Individual effort from Mike Pettitan to just flip the field on the dribble. Found an extra gear, maybe a second gear on top of that. Forces the foul. Connor Hart standing over the free kick. Three-man wall for the Vikings. Marchesen in the middle of his goal. Hart approaches. Right foot into the wall. Back to him. Hart pops it into the 18. Cooper gets ahead to it. Settled down, but a foul is committed. Shot was wide anyway from Resendiz. It's going to be a free kick for the Vikings, and they dodge that one. Finn Marchison will take the free kick inside his own 18. Played long up the left, flicked inside. Hart gets a touch to it. Raiders trying to get control. They do eventually. Barranca. Mike Pettitan down the right side, asking a lot on this run. Jimenez does get there first, earns a throw. Great hard work from Joseph Jimenez to earn this throw. Didn't know if he had the pace to get there. He did, and he's got a long throw on him as well. Kelly Cooper comes up into the 18 for this one. Jimenez, long throw, top of the six. It's over the head of Cooper, cleared by the Vikings. And they have an opportunity to break potentially. That's one by the Raiders. Resendiz knocks it to Hart. Hart plays it forward. Opportunity here for Riverwood. Goal, 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 Raiders. Goal, Riverwood. Played back quickly in through the middle. Just recycled possession. Riverwood takes the 1-0 lead. It was Damian Sosa who got that goal. Quick turn for the Raiders. Vikings initially cleared, and it's just a very fast through ball down the middle. Question about offside. It was not. Sosa made the secondary run. He was on. I believe it was Jimenez who was off in that situation. He stayed out of it. Back underway. Four and a half left. Riverwood with the 1 0 lead. Throw in Vikings at midfield. Pop down the right side. Valente, opportunity here for the Vikings. Sliding challenge. Kelly Cooper, corner lakeside, but a big tackle from Cooper. Perfectly timed. Got there first. No contact at all. Corner here for the Vikings. Outswinger from the far side. Zatina to take. Top of the six. Buford's there. 1-0 Riverwood. Goal from Sosa. Assist from Hart. Buford plays it up the right side. Flicked on by Jimenez. Sosa commits the foul. 
High boot, free kick lakeside. Contreras standing over it. 3-10 left in the first half. Lakeside trailing 1-0. Zatina knocks it into the middle off the free kick. Mauricio Garcia heads it forward. Resendiz plays it long to Sosa. Sosa takes a kick in the center circle, loses possession. No foul. Lakeside, overhit pass down the right. Raiders back in possession. Another one played over the top. Sosa giving chase. Sosa with a quick shot. Does not connect well. It's actually going to slice all the way out for a throw. Sosa tried to catch that almost over his shoulder. Very difficult opportunity there. Ends up slicing across it. Throw next to the corner flag for the Vikings. Thrown it up the line. Zetina doesn't connect. Barranca knocks it forward. Popped back to Barranca. Plays it back towards Sosa. Contreras skies it. Resendiz heads it forward. Mauricio Garcia heads it forward the other way. Vikings trying to get out on the right. They can't get out on the right. They have to go backwards. Marchison in his own 18. Under pressure from Sosa. Marchison with his left foot finds Mauricio Garcia. Kind of popped straight up in the air. Cleared. He gets some help. And Lakeside gets a throw in the attacking half. A misplayed header. Out for a throw. 95 seconds left. Cross to the top of the 18. Zetina's going to run this down. Zetina, a little reverse sombrero action. Back to Mauricio Garcia. Up the flank. Back to Contreras. Back inside. Contreras. Pops it up to the top of the 18. That's easy for Kelly Cooper to head it forward. Ball's played along, but it's behind Sosa. Vikings regain possession. Navarrete Jimenez for Lakeside. Mauricio Garcia curls one over to the right side. A little bit too much curl on that. Goes away from the right boot of Fondu. Throw for Riverwood. They might slow it down just a little bit. Ah, they're not listening to me. They throw it in quickly. 45 seconds left. Header down. Navarrete Jimenez hit from behind. So that's a free kick for Lakeside. They will not slow it down. They're going to try to play this forward as fast as possible. Marchesen, 10 yards inside his own half. Plays it into the 18. Buford punches it clear. Cleared by Resendiz. Contreras lets it ride. 15 seconds. Throw it midfield. Contreras doesn't find a teammate. It's headed down to Barranca. And that's going to do it for the first half. Riverwood with the goal from Damian Sosa, their leading scorer. And it's the Raiders, 1-0 at the halftime break. Looking for win number eight on the season. Will they find it? We'll be back in about 10 minutes to talk about how that goes down. Stay with us on the SDH app and SoccerDownHere.net.
Have you noticed bad behavior has become normalized at interscholastic athletic events? Some fans seem angry. They lack civility toward one another. Some even get aggressive and unruly. Time out! What is going on? This has to stop. Let's not forget, school sports aren't just about winning. And they're definitely not an excuse to take your frustrations out on the official or the opponent. They're about teaching lessons like perseverance, respect, and empathy so students can learn and grow as people, not just as players. We all have a role to play in setting a good example for our students and teaching them these important values. So fans, it's time to step up your game and behave positively at Interscholastic Athletic Events in Georgia. This message presented by the GHSA and the Georgia Athletic Directors Association. We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the GHSA, are the 195,000 high school sports and performing arts students in Georgia. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, debate team members, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, officials, and adjudicators. We stand for the drummers, football players, and actors. We stand for the golfers, singers, and swimmers. We stand as the national leader and advocate for these essential activities and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org. Welcome back to Hoskins Stadium in Sandy Springs, Riverwood, in the boys' soccer down here game of the week, leading 1-0 over the Lakeside Vikings. Damian Garce, or Damian Sosa with the goal for the Raiders. In the girls' high school game of the week, we did not expect this result. Riverwood came into the match having not scored a goal all season, obviously having not won a match all season. Well, they won tonight 3-1 over the number 10 in 6A Lakeside Vikings. Huge shock in that one. Will we see a shock in the second half the other way in this one? Riverwood's number four in 6A on the boys' side. Lakeside, three straight unbeaten, but three, four, and three on the season. We'll find out in about five minutes. 6A rankings, if you have not checked out soccer, is in session. That's every Wednesday, presented by Kaiser Permanente. 6A boys, Johns Creek, number one in the state. They've only conceded three goals in nine games this season. They are at Pope tonight. Pope's four and three on the year. Blessed Trinity's number two, seven and one on the year. They are at Alpharetta this evening. Lassiter, the defending state champions, we saw them Tuesday with a 6-0 win at Sequoia. They're not playing tonight. They are in action Tuesday at Wheeler. Riverwood number four, Gainesville, the Red Elephants number five, seven and two on the year. They are hosting Habersham Central tonight. Lanier, 8-0-1 on the season. They are at Shiloh this evening. Veterans, one of the 9-0-0 teams this year in any classification. There's only one that is 10-0-0, Harris County on the girls' side. Veterans, one win behind them. They're hosting Thomas County Central tonight. Sprayberry, they lost their opener against state champ now in 4A, Southeast Whitfield. But since then, the Yellow Jackets have won five in a row. They are hosting Roswell this evening. Sequoia was number nine coming into the week. I'm not sure if they'll stay at nine after the loss to Lassiter. They're hosting Rome tonight. Glenn Academy got into the top ten for the first time this year. 6-0-0 on the year. They are at Grovetown this evening. We'll be back in about three and a half minutes with second half action. Riverwood leading Lakeside 1-0.
Welcome back to Hoskins Stadium in Sandy Springs on the campus of Riverwood International Charter School. The Raiders leaving, leading the Lakeside Vikings 1-0. 30 seconds left of halftime. Both teams making their way back out to the pitch. A little bit of a jagged kind of first half at times. Neither team really had control of it. It was Riverwood who found the opening. Buford made a big save earlier in the half for the Raiders. But it was Riverwood who found the opening. A recycled long throw-in. Ball played down the middle. Damian Sosa timed the run perfectly. Slotted at home past Finn Marchesen. and Giving Riverwood the lead here at the break. Marchesen and Kelly Cooper catching up as the teams came back out onto the pitch. Those are two club teammates from NASA. Friend of the show, Todd Gispert. Got a strong team this season and a lot of players featuring in this match. Let's kick it for 40 more minutes. Riverwood plays long off the kickoff looking for Kelly Cooper and made the run forward. Raiders trying to find control on the right side. Cooper staying forward. See if that's a momentary thing. As now he's sprinting all the way back. Free kick lakeside. They play long down the right. Doesn't connect. It'll be a throw for the Raiders. It was an interesting variation off the kickoff. Send Cooper. I believe he is six foot five. Sent him long down the middle. It didn't work, but that's something to keep an eye on for Riverwood in future matches. Battle in the middle third. It's Lakeside who turns. Foul called. Free kick Vikings. Cesar Marquina earns this. And Mauricio Garcia will set it down. Fondu wanted it. Mauricio Garcia tells Fondu to move forward. Now he's going to stay and cover as the Vikings get numbers into the 18. Mauricio Garcia, 10 yards inside the attacking half. Plays it across, headed down into the arms of Buford. One big save tonight for Elijah Buford. That save and Sosa's goal. Right now, that's the difference. Buford long through the middle. It's over the head of Garcia. Sosa turns down the right side. Heavy touch. Can't rescue it. Goal kick. Lakeside goal kick, Finn Marchesen, headed to Dayton in the fall. A number of players for both teams have made their commitments. Connor Hart, who's got the assist for Riverwood, he's headed to Lee's and McRae. Marchesen through the middle. Over the head of the first group. Settled, intercepted. One back by the Raiders. Pass blocked. Raiders find it. Quinn Cooper plays it through the middle. Vikings regain possession. Zatina down the left. Zatina can't get past the defender. Throw earned. Barranca slides across to knock that out. Play it inside right to the feet of Barranca. Tries to find Sosa. That's intercepted. Yedermi Garcia almost finds the through ball. Great look from Garcia. Pass was cut out. Possession regained by the Vikings. Mauricio Garcia, he's dispossessed. Players down. Ball's back and forth. Nicolas La Madrid down the right side. Mauricio Garcia knocked down, throw, earned Vikings. Dylan Hyman made that defensive play. Fondu will throw. It's played back to Fondu. Battle for it. Raiders clear. Sosa trying to get to this one, but it's out for a throw. Vikings will take it. Fondu. Thrown in up the line. Knocked away by Hyman. La Madrid wasn't able to settle it down. 
Thrown in back to Fondu. Played back to Navarrete Jimenez. Volleyed out. Throw Lakeside. Four minutes into the second half. 1-0 Riverwood. Fondue throws up the line for the Vikings. Headed back inside. Resendis. Cleared. Looking for Garcia. Doesn't find him. Foul. Vikings will get a free kick. Ten yards inside the attacking half. Quinn Cooper was late on the challenge. Second half has had no rhythm to it in these first four and a half. But the Vikings have had a number of set piece opportunities. See what they can do with this one. They squared across to Fondu. Fondu, 35 yards from goal. Cross, Buford catches. Well read by Elijah Buford. The senior goalkeeper had a standout performance for Atlanta United's Academy in the Generation Adidas tournament. Buford plays it through the middle. Vikings win it. Knocked out wide to the left is Zatina. Played backwards, but Sosa intercepts. Sosa 1v4. He's going to go for it. Sosa into the 18. Shot. Save. Martizan. Finn Martizan will punt from the top of his 18. Sets it down instead. Just outside the 18, Sosa steps towards him. Marchesan drives it through the middle. La Madrid rescues it on the touchline, plays it forward. Marquina trying to dribble down the line. Marquina commits the foul. Excellent defending from Hyman to get between the ball and the attacker. A lot of times you see young defenders go in recklessly for tackles. Best thing to do is get between the ball and the attacker. Typically, they have nothing else they can do but foul you. Vikings find possession once again, though, in the middle third. Back to Fondue, back to Marchesen. Driven into the center circle. Battle for it. Vikings trying to find it. Valente pops it forward. Finally, Raiders settle it. Played up the left side. Looking for Sosa now on the through ball. Marchesen gets there first. Finds a teammate with the clearance as well. Garcia comes back to win possession for Riverwood. Gail Garcia. Resendiz, nice turn. Tries to play Sosa through. That's intercepted. Contreras read it. Barranca found the handle. Sosa turns 18 into the 18. Shot near post. An awkward one. Took a funny hop. Marchesen had the near post covered, but he wasn't able to catch cleanly. It's out for a corner. Don't think he expected Sosa to be able to get a shot off. Then it spun kind of awkwardly off of Sosa's right foot. Difficult one, but the goalkeeper makes the play. Corner. Headed down to the top of the 18. Volley over the bar. Half volley from Gail Garcia. Goal kick Vikings. Finn Marchesen. Right side of his goal. Plays it into the attacking half. Not for long. That's headed back by the Raiders. Sosa trying to put some pressure on Fondu. Fondu plays it forward. Navarrete Jimenez knocks it inside for the Vikings. Now it's played over the top by the Raiders. It's going to be a corner. Pressure from Sosa earns the corner. Damian Sosa, leading scorer for Riverwood. He's got the goal tonight. 
one of the first things you notice about him is his relentless work rate, especially defensively. It's going to be an in-swinging corner from the near side. Resendiz, top of the six, headed away. Garcia keeps it in there for the Raiders. Back to Resendiz. Pops it into the 18. Headed back across. It almost found Cooper, but he was offside. Kelly Cooper, such a dangerous option on set pieces for Riverwood. Free kick. Marchesen plays it short to Contreras. Contreras now tries to go over the top looking for Marquina. Headed down by the Raiders. Barranca through the center circle for Riverwood. Strong defending from Fondu. Fondu goes up for a header. Riverwood able to settle with Sosa. Not for long. It's knocked away from him. Vikings now down the left. Back inside. Through ball attempt. Perfectly placed. La Madrid top of the 18 over the bar. What a ball across from Brian Zettina. Found Nicholas La Madrid. Knew he was going to have to try to chip Buford. Just couldn't keep that one down. Buford so quick off his line. Once he saw that pass was going to connect and La Madrid had gotten in behind. Buford came out. He doesn't make a save there, but he absolutely forces a different shot than what Nicolas La Madrid had in mind. Goal kick Riverwood. Buford takes it. Through the middle, headed down. Little bit of pinball. Headed back inside by Mike Pettiton. Zatina with a header. Neither team can get control yet. Lakeside finally does. Fondu blocked. Mike Pettiton blocks it. Throw Lakeside. Fondu thought about throwing it back to Marchese and decides against it. Throws it up the line instead. La Madrid was there. It's knocked inside. Navarrete Jimenez. Another great through ball, but the flag goes up. Zatina was in behind. Flag went up immediately. 28 and a half left here in the second half. 1-0 Riverwood. But Lakeside starting to find some joy on the ball. Buford will take the free kick. Inside his own half. Plays long to the top of the 18. Off the head of Sosa. Into the arms of Marchesen. He sets it down and plays it long up the left side. Zatina wasn't able to win the initial header. Throw Lakeside. Drop back. Played through the middle. Looking for La Madrid. Hyman stepped in front. Battle in the middle third. Barranca wins it for the Raiders. Lakeside regains possession though. Zatina. Trying to lead by example for the Vikings. One possession back, but in the deflections that ensued, it goes out for a Riverwood throw. Contreras knocks it out for another throw. Thrown in up the line, played back forward. Riverwood back in possession in the middle third. Looking for the switch, Mike Pettiton. Pops it back into the 18, too much for Sosa to get to. Marchesen runs it down. It's those quick moments in this game. Quick decisions have to be made. Both teams trying to play fast, also pressing the opposition quickly. Lakeside will earn a throw on the far side. Zatina can't keep it. Riverwood intercepts. Mike Pettiton making a run down the opposite side. Raiders just can't get the ball across. It's out for a lakeside throw. 
Vikings throw. Switched over to the opposite side. Quinn Cooper's moved over to left back now. He heads it back into the attacking half for the Raiders. Vikings pop it up into the air in the middle third. Foul called. Free kick Riverwood. Maybe a high boot in that. Might have taken a deflection off an arm. Either way, it is a free kick for Riverwood. Ten yards inside the attacking half. Delivered to the back post over the head of Cooper. Not on the same page. He was starting to check back, so it's going to be a goal kick. Raiders will make a sub first. Mike Pettiton will leave. Good performance from him tonight. Ricardo Moreno back into the match. He'll play on the right side. Garcia will come back over to the left. Hyman plays it long looking for Sosa. He can't control. Driven back into the attacking third, but there's nobody there except for the goalkeeper, Finn Marchesen. Marchesen plays it long. It's over the head of his intended target, but his intended target ends up on the ground. Foul committed and a yellow card. Kelly Cooper gets it. I think the yellow is for descent. The foul, it looked like they just got tangled up. Cooper said something as he had the foul called against him, and the referee did not hesitate to go to the book. Yellow card to Cooper. He's out for, for this one. It's a free kick, 40 yards from goal for the Vikings. Mauricio Garcia chips it into the 18. Buford comes for it and gets it. Goes up over the attacker. Goalkeeper catches it cleanly. Fouls called on the attacker. That feels a little harsh. It's not a foul either way, honestly, because Buford has the right to go get it. He does. The attacker didn't try to impede him. He wanted to try to get his own head to it. Just a good play by the goalkeeper. Fearless play by Elijah Buford. Marquina was on the receiving end of that hit from Buford. Buford plays the free kick long. It's headed back into the attacking half by the Vikings. Kelly Cooper will check back into the match now. 23-40 on the clock. Riverwood leading 1-0 over Lakeside. Trying to win their eighth in a row tonight. Depending on how other results go tonight, Riverwood might climb into the top three in 6A. Lakeside doesn't want to allow that to happen. Now they've got another free kick in the attacking third. 30 yards from goal on the left. Vikings will have an opportunity here. Game has been disjointed at times. It's gotten even more disjointed here in the last five minutes. But Lakeside with a free kick opportunity. Out on the left, maybe five yards inside the touchline. Free kick play to the near post. Buford catches once again. Had his eyes on it the whole way. Slid across his goal. Didn't overcommit. That could have come off someone in front. Really good goalkeeping from Elijah Buford. Drives the ball forward. It's over the head of Sosa. Raiders trying to settle in the middle third. Failing to do so. Navarrete Jimenez. It's back to him. Cleared away from him. Garcia is going to run this down in the corner on the left for the Raiders. Opportunity here for Riverwood. Garcia on the dribble. Cuts back. Cross. Finds Moreno. Overlapping run from Resendiz. Top of the 18. Shot blocked. Lakeside trying to find the handle. Resendiz commits a foul on Zetina. And I think descent on him as well. He gets a yellow. 
Short hook from the referee now on the yellow cards for descent. And I think one to the coach. I think Matt Taylor got that yellow card. Very quick on the descent yellows. That's two in a row. And if you want to include the one in the direction of the bench, that's three. Marchesen plays the free kick long for Lakeside. No question about the fouls, just a little quick on the descent yellows. We don't hear what's being said, so maybe something special is being said, and that gets the automatic yellow. Lakeside can't make anything of the free kick. It's going to be a throw on the far side for Riverwood. They'll get another one about 10 yards further forward. Now they're moving into the edge of the middle third. Still in their own half, Raiders leading 1-0. Thrown in back to Cooper. Cooper's on a yellow card. Intercepted by Zatina. Zatina squares it inside. Through ball attempt blocked. Vikings regain possession. Played up the left flank. Zatina wants to turn. He does. Zatina to the end line. Cross. Cooper cuts that out. Clearing attempt played back across. Buford's got to go up for it. He catches it. That was not a pass back. It's a good no call there. Buford goes up to catch it because that's a completely shanked clearance. Great reaction from Buford. Low punt up the left. Garcia can't get there. Going to be a throw for the Vikings. Almost halfway through the second half, Riverwood leading 1-0. Thrown into La Madrid. Squared to Mauricio Garcia. Switches it to Zatina. Zatina's going to run this down. Zatina in the corner for Lakeside. Cuts it back to his right foot. Zatina knocked away from him. Throw Vikings. Brian Zatina has been really impressive in the second half for Lakeside. Throw comes to him. Played back down the line. Contreras into the 18. La Madrid is there. Wants to turn. Shot blocked by Cooper. Another shot. Blocked again. Off a hand. Penalty. Lakeside. Nicholas La Madrid did not give up on the play. First shot was turned and blocked. The cross was just popped up. Wasn't cleared. La Madrid found the handle at the top of the 18. Cooper blocked the first one. Second one with the left foot. Comes off an arm. And Brian Zatina will step to the spot for the Vikings. Elijah Buford will be in goal for this for Riverwood. He's made one huge save already tonight. Clock stopped at 19.50 left. Zatina backs up to the top of the 18. About a six-yard run-up. Buford, motionless, middle of the goal, staring Zatina down. Zatina staring at the ball. Whistle blown. Zatina save Buford! Tried to play it through the middle. Buford able to make a save with his leg. Massive save, Elijah Buford. Riverwood will get a free kick on the far side. Buford will take it. One huge save from the run of play. One penalty save. And Elijah Buford keeping Riverwood in the lead. He plays the free kick long up the right side. Takes a deflection off a lakeside defender. Throw Raiders in the attacking half in the final third on the right flank. About 30 yards from goal. How will Lakeside handle Having a penalty opportunity saved. How will they respond? How will the Raiders respond? Do they get a boost? Throw knocked around. Vikings get possession momentarily, but Jesus Garcia can't keep it. Floated over the top looking for Sosa. Connor Hart runs it down. Out wide to the left. Gail Garcia, 1v1, takes it down the line. Garcia. Goes for it again. Knocks it off of Fondue. Corner, Riverwood. Connor Hart will come over to take it. This will be an in-swinger. Good work from Gail Garcia to earn this corner. 
Cooper at the top of the 18 on the back side of the play, just outside the right hash mark. This is from the left side. Play to the back post. It's over the head of Cooper, slightly over hit. Run down by the Raiders. Possession kept on the right flank. Tackled away. Deflection off of the Riverwood attacker, so it's going to be a throw lakeside. Thrown in up the line, Navarrete Jimenez tries the overhead kick to keep it moving. It's out for a Riverwood throw now. Raiders throwing deep down the line. Sosa trying to run it down. AR waves the flag on the far side. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's going to be a free kick for Riverwood just outside the 18. And a yellow card. It's on the far end of the field. A little difficult to tell exactly what went down there. Contreras got the yellow. Looked like they were both hand fighting. I'm not sure if the AR felt like Contreras threw an elbow. Free kick. Just outside the 18. Top of the six. Cooper got his head to it, but he couldn't put it on frame. It's out wide to the left flank. One player beat on the dribble. Tackle inside the 18. It's cleared. Throw Raiders. Nice work by Sosa to earn the throw. Almost got into a dangerous scoring opportunity on the dribble. Jimenez will come across to take this throw. Long throw from him. Cooper still up top of the six. Over Cooper's head. Cleared away. Vikings opportunity to counter. They look for Zatina. They find him. Zatina, 1v1. Zatina lays it off. He has the overlapping run. Vikings, cross, blocked. Cooper does not commit the foul. Won the ball from behind. Tries to play Sosa through. He can't control it. Finmar Cheesen. Game's disjointed in a very different way now in the last minute. Mark Cheeson up the right side. La Madrid hit from behind. Foul. Free kick. Vikings. Mauricio Garcia finds Zatina full volley. Just popped it into the air. Buford with an easy catch. Love the swagger from Brian Zatina to try to take a full volley, side volley. About 12 yards from goal. He did not catch it. Just kind of popped it up. It floated into the hands of Buford. Long ball played forward. Garcia touch. Goal, goal, goal. Riverwood out of nothing. Gail Garcia makes it 2-0. Just a long ball played down the middle. It takes a deflection. Gail Garcia gets through and quick shot. Quick strike, quick 2 0 Raiders. That goal was scored by Gael Garcia. Gael Garcia with the second goal for the Raiders. That might put this out of reach. 15 42 on the clock. Raiders leading the Vikings 2 0. Lakeside kicks off. Mauricio Garcia through the middle. It finds La Madrid. He's tackled by Resendiz. No foul. It's back to the 18 to Elijah Buford. Goal from Sosa. Goal from Garcia. One huge save in the run of play by Buford. And a penalty save in the second half at 1-0. Denied the equalizer from Zatina. And then Riverwood eventually goes the other way and gets that second goal. Lakeside trying to cut the lead in half. Valente jumps for it, doesn't find it. Raiders clear it into the attacking half where they'll press. Sosa trying to get there first. Marchesen plays it long in Zatina's direction. Falls to La Madrid on the right side. 
Doesn't hit the ball he's looking for. It just goes to the hands of Elijah Buford. 14 and a half left. Raiders leading 2-0. Looking to go to 8-1 on the season. Foul called by our referee, Mauricio Garcia. Grabbed a Riverwood player as the ball was coming to him. Foul called on Garcia. Free kick Riverwood. Connor Hart will take it. Just outside of 40 yards away from goal. Floated to the top of the 18. Cleared by the Vikings. Looking for Jesus Garcia. Finds Zatina on the far side. He's knocked off the ball. Good defending. Raiders in it. Down the right. Back inside. Big switch to the left. Looking for Garcia. Touched away from him by Fondue at the last moment. Throw Riverwood. 13 and a half left. Gael Garcia will take his time. Thrown into the edge of the 18. Sosa turns, slips. Cleared. La Madrid clears it further. Vikings can get out of their own half. Buford will have some time to figure out what he wants to do here. He plays long, back down the middle. Sosa's going to get there. He's offside. Found the back of the net, but he was offside. That's what happens sometimes when there's quick, long balls. Players haven't recovered their position yet. 12.50 on the clock. Lakeside needs one fairly soon to change the momentum here. Riverwood trying to do the double tonight. Their girls won 3-1. First win of the season for the Raiders. And the Riverwood boys up 2-0. It's Lakeside in the attacking half, though. Played into the 18. Headed down by La Madrid. He was offside. Really close call there. Free kick. Riverwood. Buford just outside his 18-yard box. 12 minutes left. 2-0 Riverwood. Buford up the left side. La Madrid's there first. Hyman plays it long. Moreno trying to run this one down with the second run. Lakeside's got some defending to do. Can they get out? Still asking the question they eventually do. Raiders regain it in the middle third. Garcia can't find the handle. Sliding challenge from La Madrid. Garcia is able to get away from that. Cuts back to the right. Cuts back to the left. Gael Garcia down the left side. Tries to dribble past Fondu. Fondu was able to knock it off of his boots, and Fondu earns the foul. Garcia commits the foul, and a completely needless yellow card to Gael Garcia. And that had nothing to do with the descent situation. So Garcia is out. Mike Pettiton back in. All for the yellow cards to keep control of the match, but that's just a foul. There, there wasn't any bad intent. There wasn't anything out of control there. It wasn't a transition foul. Just a foul. Marchesen plays the free kick long. Kelly Cooper plays it back in Marchesen's direction. Into the center circle. Moreno heads it forward. Mike Pettiton, he's going to run this down. He's on his left foot. Corner of the 18. Takes it to the end line. Pettiton to the near post. Marchesen's there. Didn't catch it clean on that cross, Mike Pettiton. Marchesen throws it out to his left. Played back to him at the top of the 18. About 10 and a half left. Time is running away from the Lakeside Vikings. They'll get a throw at midfield. Riverwood leading 2-0. Substitution now for the Vikings. Asim Mahmoud is into the match for the first time. 
He'll be on the left flank. Fondu throws it in up the right flank. Hart gets ahead to it. Petitan gets ahead to it. Nomar Hernandez clears it up into the air. Lakeside plays it back into the attacking half. Jesus Garcia trying to run it down. He can't get there. Moreno in the attacking half. Barranca goes up for it. Moreno and Barranca giving away a few inches going up for these headers. Force it out for a lakeside throw. Vikings trailing 2-0. They'll get another throw near midfield. Played inside. Cooper gets there. Hyman clears. Battle in the middle third. Jesus Garcia knocks it away. Vikings trying to find a combination here. Trying to find a way to settle this. A lot of hand fighting. Players down. Vikings get there first. Able to turn. Opportunity here for Lakeside. Through ball attempt looking for La Madrid. It was cut out. Hyman got to it first. Mike Pettiton blasts it into the attacking half. Marchesen's well out of his 18. Double checked himself there, but he does make the header in front of Sosa. Thought about retreating. Realized that he didn't have that as an option, and he steps out and wins the header in front of Damian Sosa. A little bit of second guessing, but he makes it work. Throw in from Pettiton. Intercepted. Vikings clear up the left. Quinn Cooper heads it down. Battle in the middle third game. Getting physical now. Valente earns the free kick for the Vikings. Referee stops the clock again, and he shows another yellow card. Not sure if that one was necessary either, and Nomar Hernandez gets it. I don't believe we came to a charity blackjack event tonight, but I might be wrong. It definitely went bust by now with all the yellow cards that have been shown. Marchesen takes the free kick inside his own half. Blast it to the top of the 18. Header won by Hyman. Vikings trying to control on the far side. Contreras knocks it back to the 18. Foul called. Free kick, Riverwood. Less than eight minutes remaining. Elijah Buford, one of the heroes of the night for the Raiders. He'll take this free kick. Floats it down the right flank. It's over the head of Mahmoud. Moreno earns a throw for the Raiders. Seven and a half left. With a 2-0 lead, Riverwood can take their time in these situations. Think through how they want to bring the ball back into play. Thrown in down the flank. Trying to get to the end line. Over the end line. Goal kick. Vikings with seven minutes left. They'll go to the bench once again. Brian Zatino was able to catch his breath for a little bit. He's back in now. Mahmoud leaves. Zatino will take up his position on the left wing. He's been the danger man for Lakeside here in the second half. Had his penalty saved. Battle in the middle third. Riverwood wins it. Lakeside finds the second ball. Jesus Garcia dispossessed, fouled. Actually, Jesus Garcia commits the foul. He turned. I think he was late and caught Cooper. It's a free kick at midfield for Riverwood. Kelly Cooper will stay at home this time. He's going to take it. Drives it down the left side. Just over hit. Did not miss by much, Kelly Cooper. Picked out what he wanted on the left side. He just slightly overhit it. The 
was Connor Hart who had found some space on the left. Finn Marchesen had to run down a ball. That took a lot of time, actually. Goal kick back in play. Five and a half left. Fondue. Picked off by Barracas. La Madrid through the center circle. He's dispossessed. Riverwood back on it. Sliding challenge from behind. The turn of his body right, connect right. Really difficult skill there. Goal kick for Riverwood, 420 on the clock. Buford. To the midfield stripe, won by Jesus Garcia of Lakeside. Down the left side, Zatina. Zatina. Trying to cut back inside. Knocked away from him. Throw. Vikings. Thrown in quickly. 30 yards from goal. Played into the 18. Cleared. Sosa's going to find this for Riverwood in the middle third. Wants to get out on the run. Sosa down the left. Tackled away from him. Big defensive play by Yedermi Garcia of the Vikings. Throw for Riverwood, three and a half left. Raiders leading 2-0. Barranca. Resendiz. Tries the through ball, knocked away. Pettitan drops it back. Resendiz, shot blocked. Barranca tries to find the handle, just can't do it. Marquina clears. Throw Lakeside. Three minutes left. Valente heads it inside. Jesus Garcia for Lakeside. Into the attacking half. Tackled away from him. It was 1v4. Mike Pettiton goes for the nutmeg. Doesn't quite pull it off. But he gets a throw. Quinn Cooper throws in up the line. Sosa. Putting his body on the line, getting there, shielding it, trying to turn. Quinn Cooper tries to help. Resendiz knocks it forward. Riverwood keeping it locked up in the middle third. It's going to be a throw for Lakeside. 2.20 on the clock. Over the head of Valente. Quinn Cooper clears. Connor Hart clears. Throw in for Lakeside further back. Fondue's got to back it up about 10 yards. Two minutes on the clock. Fondu. Chested down by La Madrid, but he's not able to keep it. Mike Pettiton earns a throw for the Raiders. Substitutions for Riverwood. Clock stopped at 153. I think these subs are, as much as anything, trying to protect players with yellow cards. Kelly Cooper leaves the match. Itai Ben Bassett checks in. Long throw from Mike Pettitan. Barranca might have gotten a touch. Moreno tries to get there. It's cleared away by Marchese. Really good ball down the left. Played inside. Jesus Garcia earns a free kick for Lakeside, but the clock is ticking away. 90 seconds left. Ball was rolling. Navarrete Jimenez just wanted to take it quickly, but it was still moving. So it's going to be brought back. That takes 10 seconds off the clock. Played short. Navarrete Jimenez on the right. Tackled away from him. Dribbled out. Throw. Navarrete Jimenez. Smart from Sosa. Good defending from him. Mauricio Garcia pops it up to the top of the 18. La Madrid wants to turn to his right foot. Can't get there. Itai Bennett. Itai Bassett with a good defensive play. His clearance falls to Fondu. Fondu's cross and nobody home. Barranca clears. Sosa holds it up at midfield. 49 seconds left. Headed away from Sosa. Hart gets a touch. Barranca blasts it forward. Marchison will get it. But Lakeside just doesn't have the time. They've had some opportunities. Elijah Buford has been massive in this match. 
Big plays on crosses, a big save from the run of play, and probably the biggest save was from the penalty spot, denying Brian Zatina. Zatina able to somehow bring one down, somehow keep possession, tries the spin cycle, can't pull that off. And Riverwood's going to run this clock out as we're less than 10. Raiders will go to 8-1 and one on the year. Eight straight wins for the Riverwood Raiders. Ladies Goals and from Gael Garcia and Damian Sosa. Saves from Elijah Buford. And the Raiders get the clean sheet and do the double on our SDH games of the week. The girls win 3-1. The boys win 2-0. Big night here in Sandy Springs at Riverwood International Charter School for the Raiders. Thanks to everybody here at Riverwood for all the hospitality today, and thanks to everybody at Lakeside for all of the information on their teams as well. Next Tuesday, only one game of the week next week and only one game on the day. It's going to be Tuesday night 7.30 7.30 p.m. Second game of a big rivalry series as Osborne travels to face Campbell. 7.30 p.m. We'll be on SoccerDownHere.net and the SDH app. Soccer is in session. will be Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Presented by Kaiser Permanente. We'll get you caught up on all the state rankings, the big results around the state of Georgia. All on Soccer is in session Wednesday night, 7 p.m. One of the games we'll be talking about, one of the performances we'll be talking about was here in Sandy Springs. The Riverwood Raiders go to 8-1, and one, number four in 6A and climbing. Big win for the Raiders, 2-0 over Lakeside tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us. SDH Game of the Week presented by Kaiser Permanente. Raiders 2-0 winners. Have a good night, everybody.